Hey animal enthusiasts and herpetologists, it's Joelle here, and today we're diving into the sandy deserts of the Mojave to uncover one of the coolest reptiles. Let's get into it. This is the Mojave fringe toad lizard, Uma scoparia. These guys are found in areas of the Mojave Desert with fine, wind-blown sand such as dunes, washes, and sandy flats. They get their common name due to the fringe of scales on the sides of their toes on their hind feet. These help the lizards run quicker over the loose sand to prevent sinking. Other traits that show these guys are adapted for living in sandy environments include a countersunk lower jaw, flaps over the ears, overlapping eyelids, and valve-like nasal passages, all of which prevent sand from entering orifices such as the mouth or nostrils. When threatened, these guys can quickly run to a bush for cover, but can also burrow or dive into the sand to escape. When it comes to diet, they eat primarily small invertebrates such as ants or grasshoppers, but occasionally they may eat plant material such as leaves, blossoms, and seeds. In Southern California, there are three species of fringe toad lizard which can be difficult to distinguish from the topside and without prior knowledge of location. The most widespread, being the Mojave fringe toad lizard, can easily be distinguished by having crescent-shaped lines on the throat, which no other species has, as well as a pair of black spots on the lower sides. The Coachella fringe toad lizard, on the other hand, has lines on the throat and no dark spots on the underside. Lastly, the Colorado Desert Fringe Toad Lizard also has lines on the throat, but also dark spots on the underside. Other notable characteristics of the Mojave Fringe Toad Lizard are the dark bars on the underside of the tail. Their dorsal coloration is whitish gray and beige, with a contrasting pattern of black blotches and brownish-orange eye-like spots, which allow them to blend into the sandy habitat. Their scales are very small and granular, giving them smooth skin for greater burrowing in the sand. The snout vent length is roughly 2.75 to 4.5 inches long, with the tail being of similar length to the body. Males and females are generally the same size, but can be distinguished with males having enlarged postanal scales, distinct femoral pores, and a hemipenal bulge at the base of the tail. During the breeding season, males will develop a yellow to greenish wash over the belly that blends into pink on the sides of the body. Females will have a more pronounced pink coloration on their sides of the body. These guys will also perform push-ups as a display to claim their territory against other rivals. They will also distend their side of the body towards the opponent to show off their markings. Breeding typically takes place in the spring. These guys have been listed by the California Department of Fish and Wildlife as a species of special concern due to habitat loss and off-road vehicle use, so conservation efforts are important to ensure their survival. But yeah guys, so that is the Mojave French Toad Lizard. If you liked this video, please make sure to like and subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more reptile facts. Remember to keep exploring the wonders of the wild, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.